Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here with a new game for the channel called Scrap Mechanic. It's a survival mode. And I did do a live stream when I was just trying out this game for the first time. I'm at the uh, place with the wrench now where I've set up a bit of a base. Uh, but I'm going to take you back to where you start and I'm going to do a little bit of an accelerated kind of guide to starting out. I've got a vehicle here. Oh, here comes a little guy. These little farm bots they'll appear out of nowhere and attack you. And if you let them near your vehicle, they'll kind of break down your vehicle. Actually, before I get started, let's get this stuff off the vehicle because it's weighing it down. And this is the Jalopy Special Mark II. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. So, we're gonna go back to the beginning to where you start, just to explain some stuff. And there's a lot of tips I'm going to try to give during this video because uh, I've learned a lot in the last 10 hours of play or so. You kind of start really close to that gas station that I was just at. Now this area here, this is, actually let's go back to the start first. Well this is quite the hill, hopefully we can get up this. Ooh, no problem. And we're probably going to have to go around this log, maybe. Let's just go through it, kind of. And we'll go around here. Take it off-road. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, there's a lot of bots here, actually. Whoa. This is really close to the starting area, so... I will just grab... Oh, there's three of them. This could be deadly. Whoa, there's so many of them. I might die here, actually. I might die. I find if you jump... It's hard, harder for them to attack you. But I might die. I should have used my bed before. I didn't know there'd be so many of them. Nothing like starting the episode with some action. Okay, there's so many chests around here. I haven't been back to the starting area in a very long time. Uh, you refine the... These guys often dro drop these parts, which you can refine for the scrap metal block, which I'll be using earlier on. They drop either components or um, circuits. Grab a bunch of stuff here. I can't, I can't not get these chests, but let's take care of this guy first. Yeah, if you kind of jump when they're st striking, they're pretty easy. You can also douse them with a bucket of water and they'll freeze for a few seconds. Which is pretty handy. We'll try all that out. So the mistake I made, and maybe it's not a mistake, but I tried to build a car right from the beginning using the... Oh, inventory's full. Oh, I brought all these things with me. I think we'll just... Maybe we'll leave these here. can always get them later. Or I could store them away. I got storage on my car. Let's stick them in storage. Put the seeds in there too. And the corn. Okay. Okay. Back to back to business here. Good thing I didn't die. Now you can oh, one more chest. I'll probably make an edited guide, uh just to let you guys know. Now this bed it basically works as a respawn point. So I think I'll respawn in this location or I'll respawn on my vehicle. I'm not really sure. I haven't tested it yet. And we can't move. We got a gas? It's probably out of gas. We are out of gas. Good thing I brought some extra. Now gas is, oh, can't forget this. Now you can pick these up as well as uh, stick on top of our car here. Now the reason I have this thing on the back is because I was picking up these little trapped men. Okay, let's just stick it. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, we'll stick it on the back here. Okay. 
Okay, where were we? We're going up the road here. To the starting point. Just past here. Maybe we'll do this one on foot. Actually, we can drive there. Why not? All this stuff. All these guys. Jeez. Now, these guys can attack your car. If you don't get out of your car, they can... Uh, they destroyed the whole wheel on my car before. And they took the wheel, the shocks, everything in one hit. Very annoying. So much stuff here. I should come back here more often. Components, everything. And there's lot these things, these points of interest, they have lots of stuff in them as well. And actually, you will find a power cell at the top of this building, which you need to kind of restart your uh, ship back there. I think that's how it goes. First, I have to put out the fire. Look at all these chests. I should just come back here all the time. Okay, we're going to ignore them. No, we can't. We can't ignore them. Components and everything. Gee, there's so many. Okay, this is the place to come back to. Now, I don't know if you have to die to get things to respawn, but we're just wait time. Oh, we're going back on foot. Now, there are some burning trees here that you can chop down. I think I've probably chopped them all down to get embers, uh, which I don't have any in my inventory. We got this crappy wheel. Huh? Wow. I think I need to... I don't really want that crappy wheel. Toss that for now. Actually, let's put it down. I don't know if you... If you put things down, whether they stay there or whether you chuck them out of your inventory. So this is where it all starts um, in your ship. And they give you a bucket just outside your ship if you come out the front door here and head this way. There is a little pond here and a little growing area. And I, I tried to grow stuff right away. And here's a tip for you. If you grow eight things, um, you're good. I've kind of destroyed everything here. If you grow, yeah. If you grow eight things, if you grow nine things, this countdown will start and bots will start. After the time runs out, bots will start attacking your crops. The game doesn't really tell you that. It's just something you get to discover. Can I grab this stuff? Oh, I can. Um, yeah, so there's like a little, you can grow stuff just to learn here, but I recommend you just pick everything up and head to the gas station. Because the gas station has like everything you'll need. And I don't recommend building the crappy car with the crappy tires because it's just, it's faster to run, to, to, to be honest. So you can, you get a bucket, they give you a bucket over the, by that pond, and you can fill it up, and you can douse all the flames. This is usually on fire. Um, the power cell, like I said, you get in that building. Chuck it in there. You got the starting crafting bot where you can craft crappy wheels and crappy everything. I recommend keeping your resources and just running on foot and then building a good car with good tires. There's also a locker in here that I missed the first time. Oh, can we grab that? Oh, yeah. Um, what can we toss here? I want to keep that calendar, but I also want to grab something else here. We can drop that, probably. There's lots of little cool... Oh, these... If I use this bed, this will become my spawn point. Oh, there's so much good stuff in here I gotta get. But the locker... We're gonna grab this because it's a chest. There's toilet paper and stuff you can grab. Anyway, so... It's worthwhile doing kind of the starting bits here. And... We're gonna head back. Oh yeah, the burning trees. So the burning trees look like... There's none left, but they look like trees that are burning. You can chop them down with your hammer, and they'll give you embers, which are used in recipes. But over by the gas station, there is a ember forest, which has basically unlimited embers. So if you miss them here, no big deal. We're going to head back to the gas station. Now, if your vehicle ever flips over, which happens... Uh, 
fairly often if you're a bad driver like me. You can use the lift, which is on hotkey 4 right now, um, to turn it back over. Now, because I have something attached to my vehicle, it doesn't allow it. So we'll get rid of that first, and then we should be able to pick up the vehicle. Okay, let's do that. Uh, left mouse button, yeah. So we can replace it if it gets stuck. You can also, as a bit of a cheat, you can just you can just run with your vehicle and save gas that way, because gas is kind of grindy to get. But I like driving, so we'll put that back down. And make sure to remove your lift after. I do see a chest here, so I'm just going to quickly grab it. I'll be coming back here more often, because there's so many chests that spawn. I think they spawn them to get you started, but probably didn't. I uh, realized that people would be coming back to the starting area. What can we get rid of here that I don't need? Uh, Sunshake? Oh, we'll just leave it. There's more stuff up there, but we'll leave it. I've got a bunch of tips written down here. I Hopefully I can get through them all in a quick amount of time. Okay, back to the gas station we go. Do, do, do. What are some other tips? Oh yeah, cows. Cows are cool. You can feed them corn. I think I have some corn here, yeah. For every three corn that you feed them, and you just place it on the ground and they'll eat it automatically. For every three corn, they will poop out um, excrete, launch, uh, this milk, which is pretty good. Put all the corn down and grab the milk. You can also hit the cow about 10 times or so, and it'll turn into a little piece of meat. So if you've got too many cows... Oh, and the robots attack the cows, as you can see down here. Look at them go. Uh, sometimes the, the robots will kill the cows and leave meat behind. We're going to just save this cow's life. Circuit board... Oh, hello. He's like, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Maybe we should hammer him to death. <laughs> no, we won't do that. We'll do that off camera. Hello, nice cow. If you ever lose your cow, or if you ever lose your cow, actually they're not cows, they're walks. If you ever lose your car and you have the, this thing, the connect tool, which you'll get later on, let's say it's dark and you lost your car. Use the connect tool and it'll show up as a big glowing connected bunch of lights like this. Pretty handy tip. Grab the milk. Continue on. And this, you just have to follow the road pretty much in a straight line. You're going to pass by this this setup here, these little huts. I recommend getting out, and you can grab a bunch of useful stuff here. Oh, there's a bot here. Hello? Oh, he got me. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Whoa, they're destroying the... destroying the area. You can just hold your mouse button down and it'll keep attacking, by the way. Pretty handy. Okay, what do we get here? Circuit board. So if you right click on a tile, it turn it basically picks it up for you. Pretty handy. If you so this is a huge source of resources in the beginning. Um, if you hit Q it changes the orientation of your assembly and disassembly. So we'll grab, let's just grab a whole bunch here. I'll change the orientation, maybe. Try that again. It's not working. So yeah, we can grab a whole bunch here. Maybe if I start from this end. 
There we go. We just stole this porch. And we're getting a bunch of scrap wood, which is pretty handy for stuff for building early on. We'll store a bit of that away. Let's put that away. That away, that away. Running out of storage rapidly. That's okay, but these lights are worth grabbing, because as you can see, you can decorate your car with them, and they actually use they're useful at night. You can also turn them up. The default setting is 10, but you can crank them up and you get a bit more light. You can also paint them white, which is very useful. Uh, it gives off even more light than these original colors. But if you remove a light and then replace it, it goes back to its default color, which is kind of, and a default setting. Kind of annoying, but... So you can grab a whole bunch of stuff here. You can grab these walls, um, which you can use later on for building your own stuff. There's seeds in here, there's soil in here. There's cool things like vending machines, which uh, I've been collecting at my base. You get these utter things. All these weird, all these weird creations. We're dying. Let's drink up some of that milk we got earlier. Yeah, oh, these are default white lights. Nice, we'll grab those. Thank you very much. And there's some soil hidden back here. You'll find lots of seeds in here. You can take just about everything from here. I don't recommend removing the stairs until you've got the stuff from the top floor. Uh, the, even these can be used. These are tiles. Uh, I got a mattress. I already got one of these back on my base. So we'll leave that. Toilet paper. Everything you'd ever need. So a bunch of stuff. It's worthwhile stopping here. Maybe do a couple loads, grab a bunch of stuff. Uh, where did that wall go? Let's get rid of that wall. We don't really need that wall just yet. There's a nice blue light in here I noticed. Even the posters you can take. Uh, decorating pots. Uh, let's grab these seeds. It's, you right-click to grab stuff, by the way. Right-click to destroy. Right-click to grab. Pretty much everything you can grab. Even these fresh signs are... are Grabbable. We'll grab one of those and take it home. So much good stuff in here. It's nighttime. I wanted to record when it was daytime, but this is okay. Now let's get those lights on the jalopy here. Maybe they reset to orange no matter what. Could be the case. Okay, we're going to head down the road. I should probably get this stuff out of the road in case I come back. It's not safe. And we're off. Now these containers, I don't think there's a way into them. I haven't found a way. But, uh... Oh, these flowers, just briefly mentioned, you can get these for paint. But uh, we're going to leave them behind. And we're off. Actually, yeah, I'll tell you the toilet chair trick a little bit later here. Oh, there's a robot right there. Jeez, they're everywhere. Oh, he got me. Building a car is like uh, a little bit tricky, but there's full instructions. If you hit H, it tells you how to build the car and set it up and stuff. I'll show you a little bit of that later. We're not going to build the whole car, but... So if you follow the road from the very start point, a few point of interest along the way, like there's one right there. Oh, there's a chest in there. We have to grab it. Have to grab it. I find that components are pro- Oh, there's some friends in here. Some friends. Hopefully there's only one. Now there's a way to fight these guys with your lift. If you put your lift down and jump on it and hit the up arrow key, you can kind of fend them off from your lift. But I, I can start kind of a cheat. They can't destroy this. Every time they hit it, they're gonna- it, the lift goes down a little bit. 
I find it a little bit cheaty, so I don't do that, but maybe I'll be doing that in the future. We'll see if we need to. Okay, let's go grab that chest. If we can fit through here. Maybe crouch. There we go. What do we get? Chemicals. And that's it. Okay, back out we go. Oh, oh. Can't go that way. Oh. Robots everywhere. I will show you the toilet seat chair trick just here. I lost my car. There it is, the big glowing thing. I shall show you the chair trick back when we get back to base here. Let's grab our toilet off there. It's really easy to see chests at night, so that's kind of one good thing about traveling at night. So this is likely going to be your home base to start out. There's a lot of great stuff here. You've got um, you got water over there, and in the water you got clams, which give you the stuff for glue. You can also find. You can also find um, oil in there, which you turn into gas. There's also three little apartments here. You kind of have to hammer the door open. But a lot of people have been building their bases in this number three. Because it's pretty secure in here. You also got a spawn point here. So if I use the bed here, this is where I'll wake up if I die. And there's a robot that spawns in number two often. Oh. And there he is. And he respawns pretty often. We have angered him. He looks confused. Not getting a lot of components. Components are going to be very important for many things. So upgrades and... So you want to keep them for sure. And number three, I'm not sure if things ever spawn here. I don't think so, but... Sorry, number one. So number three, you can put an apartment in. I've just been building in the base. Or in the gas station. Let's get that fresh sign up there. We're collecting fresh signs. And you can paint them with the paint gun. I've already painted this one. So to, to fire this thing up, you're going to need a battery. Power cell thing, which I've already put in. But you find the power cell in one of these apartments. And once you fire it up, you can build stuff up here. Yeah, mechanic station. So you can build the craft bot. That's the first thing I built. That opens up a world of possibilities. You're going to need a lot of components, though, which you might have by by the time you get here. Circuits and then this uh, scrap metal, which you can get from robots and stuff. The second thing I'd recommend is probably the refinery bot which turns um, kind of rods of material into uh, into blocks. So I'll kind of demonstrate that here. I actually don't have any rods. Let's go get some rods. We're going to augment our vehicle here a little bit. Should we kill the cow? Oh, one thing I'll show you here is that you can push cows and pen them in. So I've got this poor cow here. And then you can feed them corn and they'll make milk for you. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, the craft bot. So here's the craft bot that you can build. And it lets you build everything, pretty much. But there is a starting craft bot right here, which is accessible once you put the battery in. And you can make some crappy stuff in here. I don't recommend building the crappy car, as mentioned. Uh, and this is the refinery bot here. You can manually load stuff in, or you can put these uh, these storage containers. Maybe I'll actually bring my car over. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll get a little bit closer. Okay. Yeah, these storage containers, if they're close to kind of rods of material, 
they will automatically pick stuff up, which is pretty handy. My back end here is a little bit... Let's stick this on top if we can. Right... Oh. Mm, right there. We're going to load that up pretty soon. Let's go do that right now. Another cow. I, I think the cows attract other cows. Oh, we got two rods right here. Oh. My suspension is all messed up. Let's put this there. And here's the rods here. We'll just demonstrate this. We'll grab one of these. You can either refine them manually, which takes some time. Or you can load them into the container. Like this. And it'll automatically suck it up. Go in here. And deposit it in a chest if you have a chest uh, attached. So there's a whole bunch of blocks that have been going in there. And this is getting really full. I've got to make sure it's not too full. Or bad things will happen. We'll take these embers out. What else can we take out of here? Maybe some of the oil. My inventory is full. Let's put some art up here that I collected. Calendar. What else can we drop off here? Uh, the embers will stick. I've been storing my embers over here. You just kind of plop them down. And I don't recommend getting too many of these. Because there's a burnt forest just back there. You can kind of see it through the trees there. By that big tree, a little bit behind it. Or maybe it's behind that sign a little bit. It's back there a little bit. You can't miss it. It's a big giant burning forest. Unlimited embers. We're going to turn our car around here. And head over that way. Wow, this is really slow. Are we going to fit under here? Uh, yep. I think I need more engine power. I did set up some stuff here. I did some mining here earlier. And I just kind of put all these here. Stood them up. We are going to take this container. You don't have to take the container off. You can just drive really close and it'll automatically pick up. But we're going to... See, it just automatically sucks them up. Super handy. So if you've got these on a, on the back of your vehicle, um, they'll just automatically suck things up. And we're going to do a little bit of mining here. If we can get this on the back of our vehicle, maybe. You know what? I'm going to take this deck off. I put this deck on here because I was collecting the little men, which you find... Okay, let's try and put this on the back now. There we go. Oh, it's hanging off a little bit. That's a bit precarious. Let's fix that real quick. Just to hold that on there a little bit better. Yeah, that's probably good. Now, one of the first things you probably want to build after getting a car going is this thing, the drill bit which you can build back in the craft bot. We're going to stick it on the front here. Um, but before we do that, you need to build a rotor on here. I think they're called rotors. Let's see. A bearing. So you put a bearing on, then you stick this on the bearing. And then you got to wire it up to your vehicle. So we'll try to do that here. With the connection tool, which you can make. So it's connected to this left engine. And the left engine is connected to the switch here. And the switch is connected to the seat. So that way you can control the switch. Turn this engine on independently. And I think that's all we kind of need to do. I'll disconnect it and reconnect it just so you can see what you do here. So from engine, you get these connection points. You can also change the rotation. And eventually I'll put two drill bits on here probably, but... For now, I just got the one. So we're running. If I hit my switch, nothing happens. <laughs> Probably got no gas in here. No gas. Stick that, and we'll go full power. Whoa, look at that girl. 
turn it off till we need it. And we got, uh, oh, we got one little node here we can test. This one's already been mostly destroyed. Oh. This vehicle is not very good. <laughs> I put so much extra crap on it. Hopefully we can do this here. Nope. Uh, hmm. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, it's grinding. It has to make contact and grind. I think it's doing it. It should be doing it. Maybe not. It should probably be on the center. Mm, I'm totally failing here. This is embarrassing. Okay, that one's being really pesky. Let's turn it off. We're gonna go for the bigger one. Because that one is not working. It has to kind of be straight on. So this one should be doable. Let's get this one going. There we go. Oh yeah. So this is the... Whoa! This is the way to get lots of stone and metal. Out of fuel. My other engine's out of fuel. Okay, let's get that fueled up. Whoa, we're too back heavy. We wait in the front here. Now the only thing you need the drill for is to turn these big blocks into smaller blocks. And then you can use the drill. Oh, we gotta put more weight on the front here. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you only need the drill to kind of deconstruct these things, and then, then you're left with these giant blocks, which you can hammer down into two, and then these get have nice little bits in the center, juicy bits, and you'll sometimes get metal, so we'll have to see here. So far, only stone. Oh, there we go. Metal. Whoa, we shot that one over there. So you can pick them up one by one and chuck them in there. Or you can just move the container over. It'll suck them up for you. Or you can drive kind of back and drive over them. It'll suck them up for you. Pretty handy. Pretty satisfying. Stick that back on the back. Maybe we should put it on the front. <laughs> put it way back here. I gotta replace my front wheels. They're they're the mediocre wheel. There's these bigger wheels which are better. Oh, I can hear robo uh, little robots out there. I don't want to spend the episode mining though. But we'll do a little bit more here if we can. There's lots of good designs out there for for mining. This is not one of them. <laughs> this is like the cheesiest vehicle ever. But this will let you get a lot of stone and um, metal early on, which you'll need. That's working pretty well. Later on you can use kind of things to move the bit up and down, which is probably very handy. Whoa. But we're going to leave it there. I'll turn that off. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, we got stuff behind us. Oopsie. Okay, we're going to cheat a little bit here. We're going to pick it up and run it over here. Save a little bit, a little bit of gas. You also need uh, wood, and you can hammer down trees. and kind of turn them into these things, these beams. But if you disassemble those little huts that we saw earlier, you'll have like a crazy amount of wood. You can also change out the bit for a saw blade or have both. You can, we could have a saw blade on here as well. There's some bugs where the trees sound like they're always continually falling over. 
Okay, do I have my saw blade on me? I do. So let's put let's put this on this side. And do I want it facing straight forward or on the side? Let's put it on the side like this. Put that blade on there. You don't really technically need to do this because you can hammer down trees and so you can save gas by not doing that. We're gonna disconnect that for now and reconnect it over there and maybe give this thing a little test drive here. Turn the saw blade on. Oh, saw blade's connected to the wrong thing. And we'll quickly fix that. That is connected there, that's connected there. I think we want that connected to the, nope. What am I missing? Switch is there, controls the engine. I think I got everything hooked up here. Maybe not. Am I out of fuel? Nope. It's kind of idling. I can hear idling. Uh, what did we mess up here? That's got power. Maybe we need to control it from here. Nope. Not quite sure what's going on there. Should be spinning. Should be spinning. Got a rotor. Don't want to know what else we would need. I'm sure it'll all figure out from all the comments that people leave me. Oh, you forgot to hook up this to this. Why is that engine? Oh, that's the wheel. Hmm. I don't know. But you can use the saw blade under power to chop down trees and kind of chop them up. But we'll not be doing that. Oh, I know why. We're on the lift. That may be why. Yeah. Okay, we better drink here first. Now, if you die, you respawn with some health. Um, and some people kind of use that mechanic to save... To save uh, health, I guess. To save eating food. Where's a tree we can chop down that we... That one's way too big. Let's go chop this tree down if we can. Not this little one, but the one behind it. We're wasting fuel here, but that's okay. Now the blade should be the other way. Not straight up and down, but we'll try it. We'll see if it works. Oh, I think it worked. Kind of worked. Can't really see much. There it goes. Now the, the handy thing about having it straight up and down is that you can then, if it's low enough, you can just do this to it. It'll chop it up for you. Or it'll push it along. <laughs> this is the worst kind of guide ever. Uh, we got way too much energy going on here. Okay, we're going to turn it off, but trust me, you can, uh, you can chop trees up like that. Okay, what else do I want to show you here? We're gonna we're gonna get out. Let's bring this whole container over and load it up beside here, and it'll just suck up all these things, grind them down into blocks, and chuck them in this box. Pretty handy. Before it's nighttime, I'm gonna go quickly jump in the water here. And so I can show... Oh, it's going to be nighttime. It's hard to see stuff at, at night in the water. It's more of a daytime activity. But there's two things I want to show you. There's the clams. Where you get uh, clam glue. There's also... It's going to be hard to see, but... Very hard to see. We might have to wait for the morning here. Little bubbling things that have oil in them. Oh, there's also a bunch of these guys. Which you can pick up. They're cute. We'll grab him, take him home. <laughs> you move really slowly when you have him. But it's worth grabbing. Oh, there's some oil right there. Hard to see at night. We'll get some air first. Let's actually drop him. 
because we already got one of him. You can just right click. You can be pretty far away from it when you pick this up. And for some reason it's not working. There we go. I already got one of those little guys in my base, so... We'll, uh, we'll skip him for now. When it's nighttime, I usually hang around, kind of in the base, or go look for chests. Oh yeah, these things won't work if you get outside of, kind of, render distance. This thing will stop working, so if you want stuff to actually work, you have to hang around. I want to show you my... quickly show you my watering station here. So I've got a... piston here, and a container full of water which I collected automatically over there. <coughs> I'm sorry. And, um... What is this thing? This is, uh... A vacuum thing. Let's just go see its official name here. It is a... Vacuum pump. Which you can use to suck up stuff. You can also fire things out of it. Like water. You can even fire blocks out of it. So it's got an arrow there. I've got it set to a point down. I've got lots of water loaded in there. And I'll just show you the wiring here. We've got a controller. We've got one trigger here, a one button which is connected to the thing. So every time I hit the button, it squirts out water. And then this thing, the switch turns on the whole piston. It's connected to the controller and it just goes back and forth. So we'll, this is very rudimentary. But it's kind of working. It's not covering all of my crops, which is kind of annoying, but... And it'll loop like that. Uh, this number of times. Set up to loop right here. I think it is. Actually, maybe it's not. But it'll go through the cycle of go out 15, come back 15. Several times. And like I said, that is connected to a switch to kind of turn it on. It doesn't actually need power, which is kind of neat. And then we're going to plant some, what do we got here? Tomatoes, carrots, let's do some beets. Now, if you need, um, if you need honey, Along the coasts, there's rocks, and often on those rocks you'll find beehives. If you head in that kind of direction towards the silo, there's a nice little coastline where you can collect a bunch of um, beeswax, which is used in a bunch of stuff like tires. You'll need you'll need wax for the tires. You make the glue out of the clams that I just showed you. Uh, you make gasoline out of oil, which you collect in the ocean. You can also use this uh, vacuum pump plus uh, regular chest. Or this is the upgraded chest that has kind of ports on it. You can put that in the water and it'll automatically suck up and fill up a whole container full of water. There's also a water container, which is uh, less versatile because it can only hold water. That's right here. No, it's the fridge here. It's pretty expensive to make. I, I recommend just making the uh, this thing here, the large chest instead. It holds more, I think. And yeah. You probably want to build a bed pretty early on too. You can set your respawn point there, but if you're on the go, if you're out traveling, and you want to have a mobile, mobile respawn point, it's worthwhile bringing the bed. Let's have a little bit of milk here. There's one thing I want to mention here. When you start out, there's a tire, a nice tire, sitting right in the back here, right here. So you can save yourself building a tire by grabbing that one. Down the road from here, uh, like I said, is the burning forest and there's a, a vegetable packing place back there, 
when we get to daylight, we'll go check that out. In the meantime, I'm going to make a few water buckets and show you a quick way to get water here. And while that's building, I'll show you the, the toilet trick here. Let's say you have to get up high on some on some place. This is a probably an abuse of a bug, but let's say I wanted to get up there, way up there. So if I use the toilet or the seat, I get teleported up there, and then if I hit E, I'll usually be standing on top of it. And you could use that multiple times to get up high somewhere. Like if you had more than one seat. Or you could just kind of scaffold your way up. So if there was a ledge here, we could get up to there, get on the ledge, and kind of parkour our way up there. So let's grab those water containers. The thing I want to show you here is if we put a bunch of buckets in our inventory like this, head to the water. I was kind of filling up each bucket one by one, but if we have a bucket selected and we go underwater, it automatically fills, and we can just use our mouse wheel to quickly fill them all. It's pretty handy. And then you can throw water pretty far over and over and over. If you're standing in here, and I saw one other guy build a farm in this little tree here. It's a little protected area here. He built a little farm in here, was able to stand in the water here and just water really quickly everything. The other advantage of this place is that if you build a farm more than eight tiles and you get attacked by robots, you can build a defensive wall like right here. The ones from the water won't really get in at any like not quickly and they're not they're the weak robots. It was a good place for a little farm, I think. Good for watering, good for defense. I might be actually using that spot for my farming. And I want to keep this episode under 1 hour, so we're going to go I'm going to show you a few key spots here. We'll water those other plants as well. Now, if you aim just right with one bucket, you can hit two, two plants. I don't know if I'll be able to do it here. Let's try uh, right in the middle, kind of. And we failed. It takes a bit of practice, but one bucket can water two plants. And I don't really need all these buckets, so we'll leave them behind for now. Put some stuff away here. Put some seeds away. Maybe some carrots away. Okay, we got daylight. I'm gonna quickly jump in the ocean again just to show you the oil again. It's pretty easy to see in the day. And you'll be farming a lot of oil if you uh, if you like to get around a lot. Okay, so every single little blow black smokestack looking thing is oil. So there's a lot of it out there. It does respawn. So it is pretty quick to get. Look at it all over there. But swimming is pretty slow. You can make boats in this game. I haven't tried it yet. But it requires a jet engine and floating material. Like bubble wrap. But Okay, so I'm going to show you two other, a few other key locations here. I should probably take the saw blade off here. <laughs> and the bit. It's just weighing us down. Kind of, kind of, kind of put the good tires on the front here. Okay, do we got gas? Never leave home without gas. <laughs> we got a spare tire as well. And I probably forgot the lift. No, we're good. No, there's something going on here. What have I done? Take the lift off. Fuel? Do we have fuel? Nope. Sp 
Speaking of never leaving home without gas. Okay. Oh, we could upgrade our engine too. Hmm. I think I'll do it. Expensive. But we'll do it. It makes it more efficient and f you can go faster. Oh, it sounds cool too. Okay, so... See back there, that burning building? That's the burning forest. All those... We might as well go over there real quick, just to show you. Since we haven't, since we haven't chopped down a burning tree yet. I'm gonna waste some fuel here, but that's okay. Whoa, that's a bit of a dip. That's a bit of a dip. Whoa, oh, 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 God. Gotta attract those guys or they'll attack your car. And let's pick that car up. Put it up here. Okay, the burning trees. Let's chop one down. And you get these ember things. And you've got basically unlimited embers here. There's some cool stuff in there as well. Some chests and stuff. I think there's one gold chest near the top. And my vehicle is facing the wrong way. That's okay, we'll turn it around. Maybe. So we're going back on the road that we were just on. And down this way, you'll find another one of these little pit stops. Lots of seeds in here, signs, wood, all the good stuff. I deconstructed them a little bit, but that's worth stopping at if you run out of wood or materials and stuff. Nice view out. Nice view. It's looking good out here. Now, up ahead, if you go left, I actually haven't gone down the road very far down left, but up in the hills there is the little farmer guy. He's the farmer trader, and I'll show you him in a second. But we're gonna go down here at first. And this is like a vegetable packing plant. Which you need to you need to pack up the vegetables for the trader guy. I think you need a vacuum like a chest with a port on it to get the stuff in there. You might also need the vacuum thing that I showed you that was getting letting the water out. I haven't actually done it yet, so I haven't. I'm not talking from experience. Oh. But that'll be a future episode. Oh, there's a chest right here. We'll grab it. Good stuff. Now we're going to the trader. Now there's another vegetable packing spot down the road a bit more, and they they pack different vegetables, so you will need that for sure. Because I think you need to pack up blueberries for for later stuff. Oh, I'm getting a bit dizzy here. Okay, where are we going? We're not going all the way along the road. We're heading up into the hills up here. This little green ramp. This is where one of the... I think there's... I don't know if there's multiple traders, but this is the one I found. And you'll know you're there when you get to this little dirt road. And there's all these signs here. Oh, they respawned. He, he rebuilds them. Okay. So once you uh, crate up some vegetables, you can bring them under this nozzle here. And don't worry, it won't suck up your car. As long as you're in the red square here. And you got your packed vegetables on the back. You come over here and hit the button. And it'll grab whatever's on your truck. There's little instructions here. And then there's the trader guy here. I love this guy. Hello. <laughs> He's the best. Uh, so these are all like packed vegetables. So you don't actually bring vegetables here. You have to put them in a crate first for him to like them. And one crate takes 10 vegetables each, so. And we've already brought him one of his little guys in a cage. You'll find them out, out there on the map. And you kind of have to build a little a little spot on the back of your vehicle to kind of hammer their cages into. 
Oh, he went away. Oh. Uh, the thing you'll probably want to get first here is this spud gun, which requires two crates of blueberries, two crates of oranges, and a little rescued guy. And this gun lets you shoot potatoes at range. So I've seen in other videos. I have ne I've never done it myself. And then there's later on you get this spud gatler, which is like even crazier. Or the shotgun. But to get the basic spud gun, you gotta get blueberries. And he doesn't sell... Oh, he sells blueberry seeds. And what else? He wants oranges. And he sells oranges seeds. So you gotta... You gotta kind of have to bring them crates unless you're lucky enough to find the seeds somewhere else. So first you get the seeds, then you grow the crops, then you bring the crops, and you'll eventually get the spud gun. That's something I'm kind of grinding out right now. And re seeds will spawn here and you can just take them. So, did we manage to keep it under an hour? We did. There's one little cool effect here. I just realized there's a big ramp going up there. I wonder where that goes. I will check that out. That's cool. Check that out off camera. Uh, at night, there's some fireflies that kind of glow over the water here, which is pretty nice. Is there anything in here? Nothing. Okay. So I think we'll wrap it up there. That was a whirlwind tour. Let's make sure I got everything on my list that I wanted to talk about. I think I did. Uh, water, yeah. The lift. Oh, you can also use the lift to like get up, get up on places. You can just stand on it. And it's good for combat, but also just to get get up on places. I think that's about it, though. Uh, I'll be playing a lot of this game. I'm super hooked. I'm loving it. It's pretty grindy. It's pretty fun, though. And the cool thing is you can make lots of different vehicles and contraptions. And Didn't really get into that this episode because I'm still a novice myself. As you can tell by this beautiful design. Oh, one little tip about the shocks. Um, I, how much time do I have left? we got three minutes. We're going to do it. Let's put this thing on a jack here. Okay. One thing to note. I'm using... We're going to deconstruct that. That. I'll just show you how to build. Oh, my inventory is full. Let's check that out. So, you build the shocks, and notice I've kind of raised up a little bit and then kind of come back down. That allows your vehicle to stay pretty low. And so you put the shocks on, and then a bearing. Actually, I lied. And then a... You can't you can't directly connect a bearing to this. So you can build a little section of pipe. Which you can make in the crafter, crafting machine. And then the bearing. Actually, it's not called a bearing. What's it called? Yeah, it is called a bearing. This will allow you to rotate it for turning. And then a section of pipe, which you can make... It's pretty cheap, it's like one metal. And then we'll turn that around. And then another bearing for the actual wheel to move. And then finally the tire. On the end. So yeah, that's a pretty good design for the shocks. It's not super intuitive like that we that you would need to use those those two pieces. But I saw another guy's video where he was using something similar, and it worked pretty well, so I stole it. Shamelessly stole it. Um, there's a guy called Scrapman. He, he's like a, he's played this game a lot, and I watched a few of his videos, so I recommend his channel. But we're going to wrap it up there. Hopefully we can improve the design of the jalopy, and there'll be more episodes of this game for sure. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.